Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today it's um, Easter day. We are gonna feed our pigs. This is how we mix our pig food. This is uh, corn, whole corn. Mix it with rice bran look this is when it's dry and this is when we mix so we've got to feed it in our pig today our niece my niece i mean i said our niece sorry my niece is mixing it with their hands look You are eating the corn. Hang on. This is the banana leaves that we are feeding as well, including the rice bran. And this is how we mix the, we chop the banana bark. We chop it into pieces. And this is my nephew, Andoy, and Kuna. Look, our pigs love the banana leaves. They love it so much. Okay. So... Okay, mga ika, biltay anon. Kanindad po na. So guys, these are all our pigs now. These are the baby ones, the piglets before. Look, they are growing. This is about two and a half months old now. Look. And we still have about four pregnant ones. See, they love the banana bar as well. Look, the banana bar. It's good for them. Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel, welcome back, please subscribe to my channel, this is a whole corn guys, look, a whole corn, you just spread it like this, so that the pig will come and eat them. The soil is okay for them because soil, soil for the native is good. Look guys. We need to spread it like this so that everyone can have their own space. We don't feed the feed. We feed whole corn and banana leaves and rice bran and uh, rice cooked rice today is very hot day so they need a lot of uh, water guys to give them a lot of water So if you want to keep native pigs or organic pigs like this, my pigs, uh, you need to feed them whole corn, rice, rice bran, um, banana leaves, or 
Madre de Agua leaves, any types of leaves that they want, like the apil apil leaves, you can get it from the mountain. And whole and corn, we plant our own corn, guys, and we plant our own rice. We don't buy them. The meat is uh, good for the making pig. It's good for you as well. This is a pile, guys. You cut it into half so that you can use it for food. Okay, we need to put a lot of water. They need to eat. They need to eat the whole corn so that they can exercise. I mean, like this. We don't put it in the in their food area. We just spread it around like the, like the way we feed our native uh, chicken. Really. Wow, we got a nice flower here, guys. Look. Nice flower. So nice. Mm. Guys, look. Very pretty. So, come over here. This is our own piglets now. They grow in. They grow in so big. They love banana. Banana leaf. And banana bark. And banana tree. And all the banana. Banana fruits. Banana. Bananas, bananas. So, if you are very serious with things like this, you need to plant your own banana tree. You can uh, remove the banana. Tiny banana, big banana, and then uh, plant it in your own garden or in your own lot. <laughs> Look at that guy. He's having a bath. The baby is pinky. Uh, we name our pig. We name them. So. But not everybody has a name. Only the one, the old one, with a name. So, they are very happy pigs. We call them happy pigs. And then, this is Corona's mom over here. She looks like Corona. This one. Look. This is Corona's mom. That one. She looks like Corona. And look at the way they cut over there. Look, the baby piglet. They're having a bath because it's very hot. Very, very hot today. This is our... This is my male. The male. His name is Tumi. Tumi the male pig and then we have pinky we have hoodie we've got bumpy we've got this bumpy we've got kirab kirab in ilocano is shiba but that happy pig happy pigs in here guys this is my flower power. Flower power. Shout out to those OFW in the road. So, I uh, hope you like watching my video. Please subscribe to my channel, guys. And if you have any questions regarding how to keep native pigs just comment down below that is pinky pinky, yeah. pinky. okay
guys. I hope to see you again in my next video. Bye, guys.